it's really cold right now. I think it's more so of the wind. The waves subtly crash against the rocks that I stand on. Not enough for it to splash though, but enough to make me waver each step I take. I'll probably die if I were to fall in though. But I know I won't, because I think I'm a careful enough person to make it to where I need to be. The water accidentally caught me by surprise and swiftly swam up to the shore, filling my shoes with water and sand. It was gross, but I needed more. I had to empty my shoes when I got back to the car. They were dry at that point. The clouds were stripping away my lighting, so I knew I had to leave soon. It's p.m. now, but it was a.m. then. Everything was the opposite last time. I was with them. I was surrounded by people. People that I loved, that I still love. We tried multiple times over and over again to recreate an event that I remember so dearly. But for a lot of things, it needs to progress, make change. Permanence of those memories isn't the point. Yeah, I mean, it is really nice to have them, but it should only be something to look back on. I don't have a lot of photos from that day, but I think it's good that way. We actually graduated later that day. More of a living moment, more of a living in the moment type of thing. I think we kind of all knew gathering together on such an event was important. Maybe that's why we don't need, maybe that's why. We don't meet anymore. Well, obviously, we're all in college, still making mistakes. I just made one. But there's definitely something more than that, something of the truth that we can't admit. I'm still happy this way, though, probably more than I've ever been so. I don't want you to think this is an indictment of the past, but more so a revelation for the present. What was then can only be glimpses of now. I was asked to document a place that was fascinating. It's, it's not because of the place that fascinated me, but what we did at that place that fascinated me. But this time I'm here. alone.